Um, hello guys, uh, I'm going to talk about the new virtual pin driver that I wrote, uh, which allows you to drive several pins out of one pin of the SP32 uh, using shift registers. Um, I'm going to try to be as clear as possible. I'm going to show you some demonstration and in the link below, you will find the link to the new Fastnet library where I do some integration and some example, as well as some um, GABA files if you want to print the same board as I did. We're going to start first with a quick reminder on how do the WS2812 work, and then we're going to go forward with it. So, uh, clockless LEDs, like the 28-2012, are based on specific timing. So to send a one, which is a high state, you, a one, you need to put the regist high during around uh, 800 nanoseconds and then low during the rest of the time. Uh, to send a zero, you need to be only high during uh, more or less uh, five, uh, 400 nanoseconds and then low during the rest of the time. The total has been always uh, 1,250 nanoseconds. That's why we call them 800 kilohertz uh, LED. Uh, usually what happens when we send the, um, the timing, we can be uh, simplified according this in three parts. So if you want to send each part, you will need to have like a speed of uh, 2.4 megahertz to send one, one, zero, or one, zero, zero. That's how we usually do stuff. That's the best approximation that we have and the one I'm gonna take for uh, the following of that tutorial. So to expand uh, virtually the number of pin of mm, the SP32, uh, I'm using shift registers, uh, 595 for 8-bit shift registers. Uh, if you don't know how to use them, actually you go on the internet and you look at how they work. So mainly you push data into series and then they're pushed back into in parallel uh, at some point of time, which is actually kind of nice. Um, so now you can imagine that uh, regarding the drawing that we have before, if we push data in parallel fast enough into the shift register, then you can simulate exactly the same thing as we did for if you have only one pin of data which is sent to the strips. So I'm going to show you how it works exactly. So now let's say that the clock of your shift registers, that the data line of your switch register and the latch line of your switch register and that's the status of the five first um, pins of your shift registers. So the clock rise, when it rise, actually send data to, it push data within the shift register into serial. So if I put my data line at one here, when it will come here with a push, it will push one into uh, the, um, the shift register. Then it will push zero, then one, then one, then one, then zero and zero, okay? So when I do the latch, when I come here and do the latch here, all this data we will put back that I enter into serial, we put back into parallel. So the output will look like 10011. 10011. Okay. Then I can push more data, 11100. As long as I didn't put the latch, this status stays unchanged. And once I've put the latch here, then the data got charged into the parallel, 001110. Okay, now if you remember earlier, um, if we want that to be done at the time of one pin of one, uh, actually uh, one high state of my LED, this needs to be this uh, 400 nanoseconds that we calculated earlier. And we, because we need to push one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six data in the same time, this, this level needs to be only 69 nanoseconds. Uh, and the speed of 40.4 megahertz. So if I push data through the um, uh, shift register at 14.4 megahertz, then the latch will be like at 2.4 megahertz because actually one every six time, then I will be able to push information fast enough within my legs. You're asking me why can I push more than actually five pins is because um, on the SP32 when I go to when I try to go above 14.4 megahertz as uh, the next step will be 16.2 um, I've got issues and the latch line is not correctly pushed and then the result is not correct so I had to stick with only five pins out of my shift register 
Okay, here it is. So I've done one board um, with four chips register and one seventy four two forty five to enhance the signal clock and latch to be sure that it actually is correct going to all of them. And here I've got my four data lines coming out of my ESP32 and the latch and the clock coming out of the ESP32 too. Uh, so because I've got four shift register, I can control up to 20 strips because each shift register can control up to five strips. Uh, of course, if you don't need all the um, all the five strip of each shift register, you just don't use them. So let's check first uh, the clock line. So I've plugged my oscilloscope to the clock line and we can see that it's 14.4 megahertz, which is, if I move that around, yes, it's better. Uh, so it's 40.4, 40.5 uh, megahertz, which is good. Let's move to the uh, clock line which should be here. And if I reduce that, I see that the frequency of the, the frequency of frequency of the clock line is 240 megahertz, which is exactly what I want. Uh, now let's see the results on the LED. Okay, so here is the LED panel and you can see here written line 20 and the data line is actually linked to the pin number 20. Let's move it to the pin number six and we see line six written on it because I wrote a little program that push every time uh, this message on which strip. Um, let's move to another one, Links line 13 and that's the pin number 13, etc., etc. So out of four pins, I'm controlling up to 20 different strips out of my ESP32, but there is more. So here I've got the five ground latch clock that I've replicated in here, five ground latch clock that actually I plug it to a second board exactly the same, except that I've plugged a four more data lines coming out of my ESP32. So that's four plus four, um, eight data lines. So the first one are controlling the 21st pin. So pin, so the fourth or the one are controlling like the 20 other pins. So I can go from 21 to 40 here. And if I look at, now I've got line 40, let's put it that way. Line 40, line should be 21. Yes, and if I go here, it's still 20. So now using eight pin, I can control up to um, 40 pins. So here is uh, another version of the board, which is actually having directly eight chief registers. So I can control from uh, strip one to 20 and 21 to 40 directly on one uh, strip. So I can, if I do that, I take this one here and I put it, I don't see really well here, for instance on pin 31 and I'm line 31 here. Okay. And of course you can always change the 20 pins board with the 40 pins board or can create your own um, uh, 60 pin board or 80 pin board or up to 100 pin board uh, because you can have, you can use 20 pins, uh, output pins of the SP32 to control uh, 20, uh, 595, so it's up to 100 pins uh, out of the SP32 now. And just as a reminder, this is full parallel output, which means, um, for instance, uh, 256 uh, LEDs will be like 130 FPS, and you multiply that by 100 if you're using 100 pins, uh, so it's actually 25,000 um, LEDs, but you will be still pushing at the speed of 130 FPS because it's full parallel output. Um, I hope you will use this driver. I know uh, it can be used when you're having like large uh, uh, builds and you want you don't want to do a snake in between your strips because they are quite far away and there's a lot of um, wiring in between. Um, 
my first integration within Fastlane, as I said earlier, it will be in the link below. The detouring is not correct yet because I need to find a way to speed things up, but it's already working fine, I think, for your first try. Um, I will redo, um, the jumper files are available also. I will redo the 14 spin because some ices are a bit close to each other and it becomes a nightmare to solder them correctly. You will see also um, pins for, capa for capacitors that I don't put there because I didn't find them at the hardware at at stored next to mine. Um, but uh, they can work without, but it's better if you use them at the end for a large bit to avoid any noise coming either for your power supply, either from the switching of the uh, IC. Um, do not hesitate to contact me if you have any issues. I hope you will have a lot of fun with that. See you later.